Sorry? Probably just a good idea, but not all of us. No, 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 that's right. And, and I'm not that good either, but um, can't stop me, you know. Um, uh, Murray, um, now, is it Connor Bear or...? Oh, no, who's the last one before afternoon tea? No? Has it been updated? Sorry, it's been updated. Can, can you circulate the update to people? Because it's got his submission on it. Did you not get one? No, I've got... It was put out yesterday. Anyway, come and make yourself at home. I'm sorry that... With the piles of papers that we have in front of us, we, um, we haven't all seen this one, but I have certainly seen it and I've certainly read it, so welcome. Good, Good afternoon and thank you for the opportunity of, of presenting. Um, this is a pretty sh short uh, presentation and uh, just to make the initial point that um, I'm making this submission as an individual. Um, I have, I'm not making any requests, but making the odd suggestion. My focus is on the shortfall of, projected shortfall of $750 million over the 2015-25 period. With the proposed rate increases and considered to be at the upper limit of acceptability, increasing CC debt beyond the local government set limit is not possible. And of the four scenarios listed in the consultation document, only the sale of CCC assets appears as a practical means of meeting CCC's capital needs. A fundamental question relative to CCC's predicament is can CCC's capital shortfall over those 10 years be reduced by renegotiating the agreement between the central government and the previous council, by possibly reducing the scale and cost of proposed New Zealand Government Finance Convention Centre to allow government to perhaps increase its contribution to the cost of underground infrastructure repairs, rescoping and or delaying the proposed sports facility, agreeing that any cost increases on, a share, on shared projects are shared in proportion to those initially agreed upon. As of now, CCC estimates it needs to raise 750 million to meet its capital shortfall, resulting from the current agreement with government. I do not have the knowledge to comment on the levels of normal expenditure, capital or operating, or the income projections, hence the assumption that 750 is needed from the asset sales. Source, sources of the 750 million shortfall. Based on the profit and profitability ratios of CCC subsidiaries, as at 20, uh, 2006 to 14, Appendix 4, None of CCC's owned or partly owned companies have exciting profitability. On a basis of profit to net assets, Orion 6.9%, the airport 2.1%. LPC is unknown because they've included an insurance payment as profit, which is somewhat unusual. City Care 2.5% and Red Bus a negative 1.1. Of the above, only Orion, the airport, and LPC appear to offer a significant capital raising opportunities. If the present fiasco governing bus operation in and around Christchurch could be sorted and the four or five bus companies merge, then Red Bus could present a limited capital raising opportunity. Suggested objectives of asset sales. One, CCC retain a significant portion of its subsidiary's equity after sale. Two, the purchaser of the asset should have a successful and profitable record of operation within the relevant business. The reasons for the objectives, each of CCC's subsidiaries listed above has an important role in the future development of Christchurch. CCC must retain or should retain a significant say in the management and growth of these companies. My strong impression is that CCC's input in the direction, into the direction of these subsidiaries is not strong, and they operate as essentially independent entities with little regard to the owner's interest. I refer to City Care's intent to enter the house building and its operation from Wellington. Also, LPC's apparent slow response to the series of serious accidents. 
Apart from Orion, which operates in a largely non-competitive market, none of the subsidiaries generates a satisfactory profit for CCC. My further impression is that each of the CCC subsidiaries has the potential for increased profitability. Where to from here? Each of the businesses CCC has to sell is infrastructure related. I suggest that CCC identifies a company which has a strong involvement in infrastructure businesses and which it considers has the potential to become an equity partner in and contribute to the upgrading of CCC's infrastructure enterprises. Such a partner should have a proven business re record in such, in such areas, be experienced as a partner in joint venture operation, and have the necessary financial resources to enter into and to support growth in the joint venture companies. Further suggestion is to consider consolidating CCC's five saleable infrastructure companies, the airport, LPC, Orion, City Care, and Red Bus. As mentioned before, the inclusion of Red Bus is contingent on CCC being able to own and control bus service operations within the Christchurch metropolitan area. Consent from the Selwyn and WiMAC councils will be needed, and also, of course, uh, Environment Canterbury. At present, CCC is balancing the gain of a potential gain of 750 million from the, from the sale of some of its assets against the resulting decrease in income from those assets. However, I am convinced there is significant potential to improve the quality of its subsidiaries and its own operations. And if so, the loss of income from the sale of equity could be, appreciated, could be appreciably less than assumed. Mm. A possible partner. There will be a few possible candidates. There will be few possible candidates for a joint venture partner, but one company stands out, Infratil. It is a joint venture partner in companies in each of the above business, businesses, airport, port, electricity and gas, and city passenger services. I do not know if it has an interest in a company such as City Care. Infratil's annual report to, uh, to the 30th of, of March uh, uh, this year provides information on its activities, competence, profitability and financial resources. It speaks for itself. In conclusion, the part sale of CCC's interest in its infrastructure subsidiaries can produce substantial benefits for CCC by releasing capital and increasing the, qu increasing the quality of those business. I trust the above may be of some help, and I thank you for the opportunity to present. My last comment is that I have no financial or commercial interest in infertility. <laughs> yeah, I did read that note. So, look, thank you very much. And, of, of course, we're, we're looking at the range of options, including, you know, the, the idea that the overarching company, CCHL, is, um, you know, becomes the basis for um, a component of sell down if, that we, if that's the decision we need to make. But thank you very much. It's an um, extremely helpful submission, um, getting us to focus on, on what the issues are and to draw attention to the return on our assets that we're getting at the moment and the potential for greater returns. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, now, Catherine, Pete, uh, and John.